So you want to master clothing, not a problem. Anytime you want to simulate clothing, just pick your object, go to the top under dynamic, enable collision volume, then go back and hit recalculate. The more sample iterations, the more realistic it's going to be, but it will also take longer. For now, I'm just going to leave it at the default. Make sure gravity is turned on and run simulations. You're done. You can sculpt, you can rerun the simulation, you can run it longer. It's a super easy way to make cloth follow the shape of whatever's underneath it. Now from here, you can do all your normal brush stuff, or you can use the brushes that ZBrush has specifically designed for clothing. Cloth ball makes the cloth look like there's a ball being dragged around underneath. Cloth dimple makes dents where you need them. Cloth folds is great for making folds in clothing. Cloth hook is a great way for whooshing huge chunks in a direction like a curtain. Cloth inflate makes it look like there's a fan constantly blowing towards the inside. Cloth move is just like the move brush, but it respects the physics and geometry underneath. The nudge brush is perfect for nudging small areas towards each other. And if you're making a pillow, use cloth pinch. If you want to aggressively pinch something just use the cloth pinch trails cloth pull is when you just want to give a little tug in a direction cloth slide is like the cloth ball but a little weaker and cloth twist makes a little cloth tornado cloth wind makes things windy and one of the coolest tools is the transpose cloth brush which lets you move the whole thing but also will still collide with your model which is awesome and super useful if you want to simulate super windy scenes anyway hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you around